One of the things that's confusing the patients are the so-called markers that we have on breast cancer. Estrogen receptor marker, progesterone receptor, and HER2 nu. Let me take an opportunity to clear up the confusion. One of the most important things to remember about breast cancer is that it is a galaxy of diseases from disease that is almost benign to super aggressive. And we have multiple ways of sorting out these different categories or different types of breast cancer. One of the things that we do on tumors is to measure what are called markers. And they're fundamentally three, sometimes a fourth marker that we routinely measure. Number one is called estrogen receptor. Number two are progesterone receptor. And if both of those are positive, that's good, because it means then that we can use an anti-hormone pill as part of your long-term treatment. Now, a newer marker is called HER2 nu, and this is a marker that indicates that a cancer can be particularly aggressive. And if there's any good news with being HER2 nu is that we have a specific biologic uh, entity, a drug, if you will, that we can use against HER2 new positive breast cancers. The good news is that HER2 new positive breast cancers make up roughly 20% or so of all breast cancers. A fourth marker is called KI67. This shows how quickly the cells are turning over. So the lower the number, the slower the cancer is growing versus sort of the higher the number, we tend to worry a bit more. So one of the things learning about your cancer or a cancer of one of your relatives and friends is knowing as much as you can about the markers because they really have important implications in the treatment of your breast cancer. I'm a breast cancer survivor. I am a breast cancer survivor. I am a breast cancer survivor. And I want every woman to know about personalized breast cancer treatment and the genomic test. A test that helps guide a woman and her doctor to the best treatment options for her. Pass it on.